why did I make a montage of me making myself a cup of tea, may you ask? Well, that's because today I am going to be spilling the tea on what it's like to really own a business and some like tips along the way too. So if you guys don't know, I am Shelby Downey, hello, hi, and welcome to or back to my channel. I have been really busy, so I apologize for lack of content that has been up the last couple of weeks, but I'm here. If you guys do not know, I am a tattoo artist and I own my own studio. My studio has been open for eight months now, and I cannot be more thankful about how much just everything has become over these last eight months. I never imagined it taking off so well and I only have all of my amazing clients to thank for that and all the support of my friends and family and yeah I'm just really grateful and I cannot begin to express my gratitude just for being able to have a business and it doing well. <laughs> With that being said, owning a business is crazy. It is the hardest thing you probably could ever do. Um, so in today's video I am going to be going over a few points about what it's actually really like to own your own business as well as some tips and hacks I guess you could call it for you guys if you are starting your own business or have your own business and you're not dealing well with some things. So this is all my take on it. Um, so if you guys have a different opinion or a different view on anything, then let me know down in the comments and let's help each other grow as entrepreneurs. So I have always been an entrepreneur my entire life. If there was a way to make money, I would find it. Like that's just who I was. I've always worked my whole life um, and I just, I've never been good at taking orders from people. In terms of, I like being the leader or the person in charge most of the time. I don't like having somebody to essentially report back to. Now, with that being said, owning your own business for that side is amazing, but the responsibilities that comes with is tremendous. One of the most difficult things about owning your own business is that you have no concept of your own time anymore. And what I mean by this is because it is your business, you have put your heart and your soul and your tears and your blood into this business. It is your baby, right? And that doesn't just stop after you go home. No, no, no. You get home and you carry on working. You don't have time to just go home and watch series. Like, that's just not how it happens. Like, you just don't get that me time anymore because you're constantly thinking about the business and how are you going to do this and this and are you going to be financially okay this month and all these things you keep having to think about and go over in your head and you can't actually just take a moment to like sit back and be like okay I'm gonna watch some vampire diaries or something like that like you have no real personal time anymore because even on your days off you're doing things for your business you're running and doing errands that you hadn't been able to during <laughs> work hours because you're busy working especially when your business is something more of a commission-based thing too whereas I own my own business but I also work every day at my business and if I do not work I do not make money so I do not take money from the business for myself I use my commission if that makes sense so I treat myself as one of my other artists I don't take any extra money or percentage or anything like that. So when you're doing that, it becomes a case of, okay, am I gonna make ends meet this month? Am I gonna do this? As well as making sure 
the business can make ends meet and everybody else can make ends meet. Like there's a lot of things that you take home with you and on your off day you're never just able to do what you want because again as I said you're running around doing stuff for the business that you didn't get a chance to do or you're brainstorming things that you can do in future and there's just it's non-stop. With that being said your first tip advice whatever you want to call it is to make sure you find a balance. And I have unfortunately have to learn this the hard way. In the case of, I have run myself down more than once these past eight months. And uh, yes, <laughs> um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Like you just run yourself completely down and out and everything is just so overwhelming and you're like, oh my God, I can't function. Ah. Um, so make time for yourself to worry about yourself if it's an hour a day or if it's once a day a week that you literally just put all your business aside and you focus on you because at the end of the day if there's no you there's no business so look after yourself it doesn't matter what you know it matters who you know when people say this to me i always kind of was just like okay yeah sure like that's what the celebrities say and rich people and stuff, but it's really true. It doesn't matter what you know, it's who you know and what the people you know can do for you. With that being said, always make sure that you're one of those people. Do not just expect things all the time without giving in return because that just creates super bad blood and that's just not cool. So if you are giving, it comes back to you so remember that when you open up your own business or have your own business running sometimes it is really beneficial to give things away for free without any intention now what I mean by that right is if you give somebody something with no intention of wanting to receive anything back from them you are automatically making that person want to help you. And what I mean by that is referrals, word of mouth, and free advertising, which helps your business. Now, I'm not saying that every time we give something away for free to somebody, we're expecting those things. I have done a lot of free tattoos just because of the story around it has been very moving or touching for me and I just can't imagine charging them for something like that or I just relate with it on such a personal level that I want to do it to kind of help them. So there are obviously like exceptions to what I'm saying but in general try and be a good human in business. Don't try compete and backstab other companies or businesses that are associated in your industry or even not. Try and build each other up because that's just going to create this atmosphere around your business that your business is good and it stands with the community and everything that your brand entails starts to become more relatable on a personal level. Another thing I've learned from owning my own business is that whenever you are responsible for paying people, you will always be the bad guy. Now, what do I mean by this? It doesn't matter how nice you are, how much you try and do for people that they don't even know about. But when things happen in people's lives, it is the easiest thing to pass blame onto someone because we need to try and make ourselves feel better and the best and easy way to do that is by passing blame onto somebody else and when you're paying somebody they're the first person you're gonna blame so if you find yourself in a situation where you're literally trying your best to accommodate everyone and be there for everyone and all that and they're literally just running you into the ground and saying how should you have a person you are and all of that kind of stuff it is nothing to do with you it is literally human nature to try and blame somebody and unfortunately if you are paying somebody you're the first person that they're going to blame it's just unfortunate 
thing, I guess, about owning your own business is you will always be the villain in any situation. With that being said, I've also learned when you own your own business, especially at a very young age, people are going to want to tell you how to do things and they are gonna think, especially the people that work for with you, they are going to think they would do a better job. Again, it's just how human nature is. When you are in a position that they wish they could be in, that should be self-explanatory enough. If you're running things the way you see fit to and how you believe your brand should be represented and run, it's got nothing to do with the kind of person you are. So just remember that, okay? I've, I've struggled with this, but at the end of the day, it is your brand, it is your business, and you have to do what's right, essentially, at the end of the day to make sure that your brand is yours. When you own your own business, you have a lot of stresses to deal with. So try and make sure that you have somebody to be your, I don't want to say therapist, but just somebody that you can talk to in terms of bounce ideas off or just say like, this guy pissed me off today because he did this or this chick, whatever. Just to vent because if you are like me and you live alone and you don't have a boyfriend or whatever, husband, fiance, whatever, you need somebody to be able to have that de-stress kind of conversation with where you can literally just vent about your day and about everything that's happening at work and just like also to ask for advice which is also very important because sometimes especially when you are creative as well you dream really big and sometimes you need somebody to just kind of like deflate those dreams just a little bit for you to actually realize okay hang on I'm being way too out there, I need to rein it in, smaller goals, smaller time, and then big goals, and not just go straight to the big goal. <laughs> um, yeah, so having somebody in your corner that has your best intentions and is able to listen to you, super important, I cannot stress that point enough. I think this is a super important one as well, is learn that you don't have to give an explanation to things so I am the kind of person that I'm very like strong set in what I want how I think want things to be done and people don't often like that and I know I come across sometimes as very aggressive because I want things done a certain way I want things run like this and if they're not I'm not going to be happy <laughs> so I also that is a learning thing I guess that I do know I have to work on but also I can share with you if you are running a business or opening up your own business that you should try and learn to be a bit more diplomatic but with that being said one of the biggest things that I have learned is that I don't need to explain myself to anyone at the end of the day it is my business, my brand. If I say no, it's because there's a reason. I know that sounds harsh, <laughs> but it's kind of the truth. If you ask me if you can do something and I say, um, no, I don't think so. There's a reason why. I'm not just being a petty bitch saying no. There's a reason behind that. And you shouldn't have to justify yourself to people because you're trying to make them feel better they need to understand that it's your brand, it's your business and if you say no it's because you have the brand's best intentions and whatever they're wanting to do is not perhaps in line with those intentions and image. Even though it, it might not be something bad, it's just not what you foresee the brand to be at that specific stage of its life, which is okay. This one is super important. Um, you need to make sure that if your business has a really good few months that you doomsday prepare. And what I mean by that is that things happen, life happens. If you have an amazing six months, that doesn't mean for the next six years your business is going to be flourishing. So, you always need to prepare for the worst. When you make a lot of profit that month, 
stash some aside into savings. Don't think you can just go and splurge and just buy all the new equipment and all that kind of stuff. That's not how it works. That's not how business works. That's not how the economy works. People are going to go through phases where they physically and financially cannot afford things that you are providing to them, which means you need a backup in case it is a quiet month and you don't get a lot of clientele or sales, whatever you're doing. So doomsday prep. That is super important and remember that just because you've had a really good run of luck doesn't mean that luck is going to continue. You have to keep on working at your business, promoting your business, coming up with new ideas, new things, changing the shop interior, making it feel new and exciting constantly. And that is hard. That is super, super hard. But it's worth it in the long run. You are only human. And with that being said, so are the people you work with or that work for you. And what that means is communication needs to be super important. So that if you're having a bad day, you can tell them, listen, don't fuck me off today. I'm having a rough day and vice versa. Sometimes we just wake up and we're in bad moods and we're human. We're allowed to feel things and go through things and stuff. But what is important is that we don't lash out at each other at work. Another super important thing to know is that your customer, your client isn't always right. And we're taught, especially in the hospitality industry, that your customer is always right, but they're not. And as a boss, you need to know that because there's going to be some instances where you might have to defend the person that works for you. You have to make sure that it's plausible. And what I mean by that is you can't just always take the side of the person that works for you because sometimes they are in the wrong. And when they are in the wrong, then they need to know that. And you need to ensure the client or the customer that you're aware that they messed up and you're really apologetic for it and you will sort it out. And you make them know that you've told the client that. But when the client's done something wrong or the customer's done something wrong, you also need to have the back of your people because that's super important. They need to know that they can trust you in a situation where they feel threatened per se, if that makes sense. You cannot do everything. Delegate. You as a business owner, especially if it's a startup, are going to want to make sure you are present in absolutely everything that happens in the business. I'm telling you, you cannot. You will burn out and you'll start making dumb decisions and you'll start neglecting other ones. You need to learn how to delegate. Find somebody that you really trust and let them help you delegate. You have to learn how to shift the responsibility and the pressure onto somebody that works for you. It's essential for your mental health. <laughs> you as a business owner are not the most important asset or thing in your business. Shocking, right? <laughs> without you, there's no business, of course, but without a customer, even if you're there, there's no business, which means your customer, your clients, whatever you want to call them, they are the most important thing in your business, which means it is your job to make sure that they are happy. Client relations are the most important thing. Why? Happy client equals word of mouth free advertising, happy customer. <laughs> it makes you feel good about yourself and your brand. There's a whole long list about why having a happy client is good. It just is, if your product is pie average, if your client's service is impeccable, they will keep coming back because they feel comfortable with you. Don't Think like a business owner all the time. You have to put yourself into a client customer shoe from time to time. What I mean by that is sometimes as a business owner, you have these grand ideas of how things should be done or what pricing to put certain things as, but you have to kind of think to yourself, if I was buying this product or service, would I be happy with that? And if not, 
you know what to change. Running your own business has incredible highs and very, very low lows. It's like you're on a roller coaster and one minute you're so happy and everything's going well and all of a sudden you're like crying yourself to sleep. <laughs> it's but it's just what's gonna happen. The stress gets to you and and unfortunately, so this ties back on what I said earlier about the people that work for you are gonna think that they can do a better job than you because they don't understand the amount of stress that you're under 24 seven, even on your off days, even when you get home after work. They go home and they have a life, you don't. So the lows are low, but it makes up for it when things go right so if you are starting a business or you have a business running and it just seems right now that it's not going anywhere and you don't see the point keep doing it keep reaching higher because when it hits that high it's gonna be amazing and it's all gonna be worth it isolation being a business owner isolates you from the team and what I mean by that is that as much of a friend as you can be to your colleagues, you will always be seen as the boss, which will put a divide in your social aspect with them. They would be your peers, but you're not because you pay them. So you will feel isolated. And even if they do try to include you or you try to include yourself, you will always be slightly more isolated than the rest of them and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that at the end of the day you're not there to make friends you're there to run a business so remember that this kind of touches on what i said earlier about making time for you and like me time is family time your family is your most important thing your business should never come first your family should always come first your family comes first. If you find yourself in a situation where you're spending more time at work than with your family, even if you are working so hard for your family, stop. You don't want to cut yourself off from that. And even your friendships and stuff, you don't want to isolate yourself so much because you're so focused on working and making money and doing this and that and this that you end up losing those connections you have with your friends and your family. Find a balance. That is super important. Owning your own business when you're young, it comes with a lot. You miss out on a lot and people will often not take you seriously because you're young and you don't know anything because you're young. And people will think that you didn't do this by yourself even if you have they will always doubt the fact that you did it by yourself they will always think that mommy or daddy helped or whatever but not that you could have achieved this by yourself and why again because you're in a position that they wish you could be in so just remember that if people are criticizing you and doubting you and talking shit about you, it's because they wish they were in your position. So chin up and keep going. So here's a few things about why it's so great to own your own business. First one is that you're in control. It's your brand, your vision for it, and you're the one making the decisions. You get to build something. You get to take this idea of your brand and everything you wanted to stand for, and you get to create something that people will talk about and invest in and come to know. You get to create an empire. You get to help people. And in my industry, a lot more emotionally than anything because helping people I feel like is super important and that's something that's super important is being able to give back not even financially but just just emotionally I think that's really something super important and if you are able to give back financially even better you might end up changing the world and I know that sounds crazy especially as like a style of business like oh how am I gonna change the world you might meet somebody that you inspire them and they go and change the world. Like, there's so many ripple effects 
in this world as it is. So if you own a business, you're constantly needing new people, new people are coming through in your lives. You're leaving impacts on them and they're leaving their impacts on you. It's this non-stop ripple effect and it's flippin' phenomenal. And what's also pretty amazing is that you're a fucking badass. If you own your own business, you are a fucking badass because you have taken a huge risk financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, etc, etc. Like owning a business is so hard. It is so difficult. I cannot stress that enough. It is so stressful and sometimes I want to run away to a desert island, but I'm here. I love what I do and the fact that I get to meet so many incredible people and get to help people and you know like they're influencing my life and the kind of person that I am and who my, I'm becoming and it's just this ongoing growth cycle of just becoming and it's so beautiful and I'm so thankful to every single person that has supported me in this entrepreneurship journey and I'm just absolutely grateful and I encourage you so much if you are wanting to open up your own business do it 100% do it make sure you can though financially because it is a big burden in the beginning and you do not start making profit for a long time eight months in and I'm still not making profit but it's going good it's getting there and it's growing every single day and people are recommending it and they want to be there and just it's fantastic and i'm so grateful and thankful my heart is very full with gratitude so thank you for supporting me and my business to all my family members my clients and the people that work with me thank you for helping my dream come true okay Thank <laughs> you.